Hello everyone, my name is uh, Ori, I'm a VP R&D at Achilles, and today we're going to talk about uh, Kubernetes secret and in general how to make your production environment uh, safer. Now it's time for a short demo. Um, I would like to get um, access to my Kubernetes cluster and see what pods are running on the default namespace. So typically this would be the command that I'm running. Uh, behind the scene what's happening is that you're using a client certificate which is long lived to authenticate to the Kubernetes control plane and get the output back. In our case, what, I, what we did to, uh, to make it more secure is that we hook the command and we basically run a command line uh, process that authenticate using a more modern authentication method. In my case, it will be based on XAML. Um, and then you can use uh, multi-factor authentication uh, to get uh, yourself authenticated with that, you will get access to the Achilles platform to uh, sign yourself a short-lived certificate that will be valid for a few minutes um, as you can configure it. So let, let's start uh, with that. As you can see, I'm automatically being redirected uh, to my identity provider. In this case, it's Okta. Here, uh, as part of the signing process, you can uh, configure to use multi-factor authentication. In my case, it's just a demo. So I will be using username and password. And I get a confirmation that the authentication uh, was successful and I can resume and see the output uh, of my command here. The second time I run the command, for example, uh, this case, um, I'm already signed on. So I will only see the output uh, of the nodes that I'm using. In, in my case, it's a, it's a minikube. Um, more commands that you can do is for example, um, Uh, let me see, see the logs of a specific uh, output here, anything of that kind. Uh, in addition, I have prepared uh, a demo file called uh, test.yaml. If we look at this file, it's basically a simple deployment that is using uh, an Alpine container and here we can demonstrate two ways or two methods of injecting secrets uh, from the Achilles platform uh, to this uh, specific uh, pod, okay? One way of uh, injecting is using a mounted file system. Like you see in this case, we have a notation that says that the Achilles plugin is enabled. We have another annotation that says that I want to inject a file um, uh, based on a secret, which is, this is uh, the secret path to it. And we'll show it just in just a moment. And the second way of injecting is using environment variable, as you can see here. So I have defined an environment variable called my secret. And the value is another annotation with the Achilles colon prefix to another secret. In this case, this is the path of the secret. What will happen when this pod will be launched is that we will run a, a command line, basically running an echo to the first secret and then echoing the environment variable. So you should be able to see the secret values even though there are no secrets in the deployment file itself. Uh, before we get this uh, deployed, uh, let's switch very quickly to see uh, my account. So I'll log into my demo account um, and maybe showing here. Showing here the two secrets that I pre-created. Okay, so we have a folder called uh, Kubernetes here. And those are the two secrets that we're about to fetch. As you can see, they are at, encrypted at, at any point in time and we'll decrypt them using the application. Okay, so now it's time to uh, use the kubectl command again to apply uh, the test.yaml file. And it's created. So if I run again, get pods, I should be able to see the application that is running. Now running on the logs, here we can see that the first secret is this secret value is injected to file and the second one is true environment variable. The interesting part would be if I switch back to my account, I can check the audit logs 
and see that there were two requests uh, made. And let's uh, filter by get secret value. Uh, and, and those were done by my Kubernetes cluster that is running on AWS. The first request was to get the secret value and it was successful. And the second one for the second secret, it was also successful. Um, again, if I go back to the secrets, uh, I can also see um, that I can decrypt them using uh, the web UI and to see the same value there. And uh, same goes for the secret secret, second secret. You can also see uh, that the PKI issuing uh, was done through XAML and this is associated with my username, right? So any user that logs into the cluster, you will, you'll be able to see that in the audit log. By the way, these audit logs can be forwarded to your existing log system or SIM systems um, to your convenience. Just to summarize what we've seen uh, so far in the demo is we've seen the ability to use uh, secured secrets from a secret management platform in a standard Kubernetes deployment. We have seen a way to authenticate uh, to the cluster using modern authentication methods uh, with shortly certificates to make your access more secure. Um, and that's it. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to take them.